Hello everyone, just going to be sharing with you a really exciting iPad application. Well, it's not entirely new. Um, it is definitely something that I've been using recently and have having a lot of success with, um, particularly in the connected PE workshops with teachers really embracing it and seeing it as a tool that could be used um, for a multitude of different reasons. Now, it comes in two versions. It's called Book Creator and there is a free version. It only allows you to create one book as a trial and then you need to pay and get the full version, which is unlimited in its um, creation. So we're going to launch into it, and I'm going to show you how it works. Now, when you open it up here, um, you've got a getting started guide, which just t tells you about how to use the app. Um, but you can quite effectively press New Book, and you can choose the type of size and shape that you like. Now, I pick Landscape all the time because it's best replicates the actual iPad sizing and, and that's perfect for um, videos and photos. Now I've created a book here at the moment and um, as you open it up you can see that you can you can see the page that you're on and this is the cover page and it will always be the cover page and basically you, you can get started by pressing the plus button there and these are the different things that you can add. Now I'm going to add some text and I'm going to type in the box here and say that this is um, Jared's PE portfolio. Um, because realistically, this works so well as a portfolio tool, being able to mash in it and include all those different um, types of media. So I could quite effectively move that across to the center of the screen just by dragging it. And if I press the little inspector button, I can change the size of it. Um, just to suit and let's, let's even let's change the font never used that font before but no time like the present and there you are there's my lovely front cover now it would be pretty good if I added let's say a photo um, from something I've done there we are and perhaps I could g incorporate um, the uh, So there you are. Very easily we're able to um, go ahead and and change up a whole heap of things. If I press the inspector, I can, let's say, give some background color to to that. And I might even give some background color to um, <laughs> So there we are. And just to top it off, black. So you've got a little bit of freedom for what you can do in terms of styling and moving around and so on. And um, once you're happy, you can you can move in and, and start editing the actual pages. Now you can see here on page two of three, um, at this particular stage, you know you can add in, let's say, um, you wanted to create a page on triple jump. So I could add in some text. This is a skill that I've just recently mastered or progressed, and um, you can see I'm now adding it to my portfolio as basically like a learning sample. Um, so there we are. I might even center that. And on this particular page, you could very easily add a photo or some um, a video or even record a sound um, of that particular skill in action. Now I've created one just a moment ago. And if you look over the page here, um, this is what it could look like. So as, as you can see, we've got um, this, the, the different skill at the top of the page we have this is a video here and if I click it you'll actually see it play back inside the book um, this is using the slow pro app and it's just been exported into the book creator so there's my lovely triple jump um, you can see here that I put in some text for a student reflection and um, that's just basically a text box and that's me explaining how I thought I went based on a certain criteria the teacher could give you. And then down in the bottom there's a teacher feedback section and this here is um, actually an audio recording. And when you press that button it actually just brings up a record box that you can speak directly into. And I as the teacher um, could basically look at the performance and then I could record a little sample like that. So 
So there we are. Um, that's basically how the Book Creator app works. Really, really powerful. Um, you can combine all these different media um, into a really powerful portfolio. Now, if your students were basically doing this once or twice a week, adding in some skills and different assessments, um, it would be a really effective way to piece that together. Um, you can obviously add as many pages as you like and you can continue that process throughout time. Now, when you get to a stage where you want to share it, it's really easy to do so. You can just press this button right here and you get a whole heap of choices as to where you want to um, place it. You can drop it into Google Drive, um, you can place it in your Dropbox, or you can open it in iBooks. Now, if I press this, this is awesome. This is really, really a cool way to um, to actually look at your to look at your book. So, um, as you can see, there's my book in iBooks here. Um, but the cool thing is, when I turn the pages, it turns like an actual book. And again, when I press the play button, you can see that it plays inside of the book as well and the sounds and all they work. Um, so, that's Book Creator. Obviously, a whole heap of ways that you can go about um, sharing and using this in the classroom, um, PE, any other classroom for that matter. Um, if you didn't want to share it as an actual iBook, there are other ways that you can share it as well, via email, um, as a PDF, etc. So, really powerful. I definitely recommend going and checking it out. Um, grab the free copy, but I really recommend grabbing that full version because um, there's some incredible stuff that you've got to do with this. Thank you.